Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with the HPE Synergy 480 Multi MXM Graphics Expansion Module for HPE's Synergy 12,000 frame enclosure. If you're not familiar with the HPE Synergy 12,000 frame, then you should know that it offers a composable infrastructure meant to support all types of workloads. At 10U, the 12,000 frame can support multiple blades and features embedded management that pools physical and virtual assets of memory, storage, and compute that can be allocated as needed. The Multi-MXM Graphics Expansion Module expands the capabilities of the system with up to seven MXM computational accelerators for CAD and CAM and graphics intensive applications. Let's take a look. The Synergy 12000 frame supports both the Synergy 660 and 480 Gen 10 modules. It's quite complex on its own. We did a video of the Synergy frame 12000 that you can see right here. But here's a quick refresher. It's a 10U system with support for up to 12 half-height, 6 full-height modules, and a number of full-width 4-socket modules, plus combinations in between. Power, cooling, I.O., and management are handled at the chassis level. It features composer modules that help you to precisely compose and deploy a server node in minutes with the help from HPE's OneView management suite. The Frame 12000 supports compute modules, storage modules, and also this Synergy 480 compute and graphics expansion module in the same chassis. As you can see on the front of the node, it looks like two systems stacked one on top of the other. And that's exactly what's happening here. On the top, you have the graphics mezzanine, which houses the MXM computational accelerators. On the bottom is the compute portion of this node with two 2.5-inch drive bays in front, which will support either SATA natively or SAS drives with a discrete RAID controller. Also supported in the front drive bays is a unique SFF flash adapter that supports two UFF drives in each carrier. Are you interested in the HPE Synergy 480 Multi-MXM Graphics Expansion Module for HPE Synergy 12000 Frame Enclosure? Whew. If you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase of a system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. Need a Synergy Frame 12000 chassis to support that graphics module? We have those too. Call me. Hello? Just below the drives is a control panel with a UID LED, health status LED, mezzanine NIC status LED, and power on button with LED. On the right of the system, there is a pullout system identification tag that hides two USB 3.0 ports for a crash cart and provides access to the integrated lights out module for at chassis management. Two screws to either side of the case allows you to split the node into the graphics mezzanine and compute node. This particular node is set up for the mobile PCI Express module or MXM form factor GPU accelerators. You can install up to six MXM cards on the graphics mezzanine with six mounting points. You can install one more for a total of seven GPUs using the optional GPU mezzanine adapter card installed in mezzanine slot one of the compute module. There are two more GPU form factors supported, either four full length, full height, single width GPUs or two full height, full width, double wide GPUs. We don't have the associated hardware to support the last two versions, so we will focus on the MXM GPU option. Supported MXM cards include the NVIDIA Quadro M3000 SE and Tesla P6 MXM server graphics card. That last, the Tesla P6, is what we use to outfit our review system. We have our system outfitted with six MXM GPUs, but a seventh, remember, can be installed using an optional mezzanine slot for the final card. The Compute module supports SATA drives natively, but you can add SAS drives using a discrete HD RAID controller. There are several different HPE Smart Array modular controllers to choose from, providing more control over the two drives supported in the chassis. One of two RAID controllers, either the HP Smart Array P204i-C or the Smart Array P208i-C, install just under the drive cage assembly and provide more control over the two internal drives. To connect to the HP Synergy D3940 storage module, you will need a P416IE-M Smart Array controller. The P416IE-M is for performance RAID applications and in addition to accessing the storage module, can also be used to RAID those two front drives using specific SAS cable connections. The D3940 can support up to 10 compute modules with 12 gigabit per second access speeds across 40 2.5 inch drives. The system also supports an M.2 SSD adapter board that can host two SATA M.2 SSDs. Those M.2s can be RAIDed together to support your operating system for redundancy or you can use the two front drive bays. An HPE Smart Storage battery will power the system for a period of time in the event of a power failure, allowing the system to store data that's currently processing, which is a great feature for added resiliency in the data center where you won't have immediate access to the system. In this case, as with all the other nodes, management of the system is through the chassis with a Synergy 12,000 frame leveraging the embedded ILO module on each server node for individual server node status and inventory. 
One view in this context is a modified version that is specific to the Synergy family and enables rapid configuration and deployment of network hardware and virtual assets. The key here being speed and agility with a composable infrastructure. Under the drive cave, you'll notice the ILO module, a slot for a micro SD card to support a hypervisor, an M.2 storage adapter, and next to that, an internal USB 3.0 boot port. Just behind the backplane are two Intel Xeon scalable processors, each supporting six memory channels with two memory slots per channel and 12 memory module slots per processor for up to three terabytes of memory total with both processors. We have the system outfitted with dual Intel Xeon scalable 4110 silver processors from the first generation and only six memory modules per processor for optimal memory performance. Three I.O. connectors in back can support additional network cards for HP RAID controllers like we have here. The HP Synergy 480 Multi MXM Graphics Expansion Module is a great option if you'll be supporting designers, architects, financial analysts, and other professionals requiring strong graphics support. The Synergy 12000 frame can support thousands of virtual desktops per rack with the most popular applications. Just last month, HP announced their Synergy platform is now compatible with HP's Primera storage platform to augment performance with artificial intelligence and machine learning. <laughs> but that's another story. We hope you enjoyed our review of the Synergy 480 Multi MXM Graphics Expansion Module. Subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more reviews on the latest servers and professional workstations. If you have any comments on this system or any other, just leave them in the comments section below. IT Creations carries this server and over 7,000 more, plus the parts and components to custom configure to your specifications. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.